Is this a concern? Do we feel as though a government action by U.S. regulators, not even European ones, will have a real long-term impact on Alphabet? Thanks, Dom. Yeah, I, I, I think it's worth mentioning the two ironies in, in this Department of Justice uh, decision. The, the first is that everyone, especially U.S. politicians, expected the EU to break up big tech, not the, the U.S.'s Department of Justice. And the second is the timing. I mean, Google has never faced so many uh, uh, threats to its own business. So open AI's large language models, they effectively changed the whole need for search. If you can embed uh, uh, AI within tools like Microsoft Copilot, you don't need a search engine at all. So Google is in the midst of a massive threat at the same time uh, as this uh, judgment of, of being a monopoly. So this is a threat, but it's not as if they're not taking steps to try to remedy it. They're, they're putting a lot of resources, as are their big tech peers, into the development of artificial intelligence products, especially consumer facing ones. I can think that Google has Gemini. You mentioned Copilot before. Meta's AI platform is now doing a lot of this kind of stuff as well. How does that fit in then with Alphabet's efforts when artificial intelligence is going to be the future anyway? So I think on paper, Google, uh, Google and Alphabet are, are, are leaders uh, in AI. The problem with Google is it, it, it's, it's a bit like a, a Kodak moment in the sense that um, they are leaders in AI, but it's, it's a threat to their core uh, search business. So they don't know what to do. They're coming up uh, with a business model, and some of the other tech players like OpenAI uh, are running rings around them. Their core search market is still, uh, still of course, strong, but that may not be the case uh, in, in five years. The problem for the regulator, of course, is a massive problem. Uh, the geopolitical uh, uh, environment is that the U.S. is in a tech war with China and the U.S. needs tech champions. You can't be an AI champion uh, if you're broken up. Uh, and in, in specifically, if you know, in terms of the reason Google's strong in, in, in search is because it controls uh, user data, it controls its own cloud platform, and it's very strong in AI. If you mess around with any of those things as a regulator, you're going to reduce the U.S.'s uh, tech leadership versus China. This is an important point, because this is arguably the next battleground when it comes to dominance around the world. Hegemony is going to be developed because of things like artificial intelligence prowess, supercomputing prowess. It is right now very obviously a battle between the, uh, I shouldn't say battle, it is a race between the U.S. and China specifically. How does that play out and what, what do regulators, what does this administration need to understand and a future administration about America's competitive position in AI and supercomputing given what it's trying to do with Alphabet and maybe others? I think regulators already understand that America needs to lead in AI to maintain its economic uh, dominance. However, the, the, the regulate, regulator, regulatory remedies in the past have, have, have had little effect. If you look at Marbell being broken up decades ago, it had little effect. It didn't really help consumers in the U.S. telecom uh, market. And, and breakups never work unless you change the business model. So the, the, the big breakup being talked about at the moment is you spin off Android or you spin off Google search. Android's the operating system. Google search is the engine. Uh, if you split them off, then Google's strength will be nullified. But if Google's strong in AI, then actually that may not work because it would just be the dominant search engine on, on, on any operating system on mobile. Um, the real thing, uh, as we alluded to earlier, was that Google controls the entire search value chain from controlling user data to controlling the cloud platform on which they process that data for the search results to having AI, which makes everything much better uh, and decision making much better. And so breaking up those businesses you know, could be considered. But again, if I was a regulator in the US, I wouldn't do that because that would erode Google's uh, AI power. But there's, you know, there's um, an, a little talked uh, option of breakup is Google actually on the back end of advertising, it owns lots of it owns most of the value chain within the digital advertising industry. So it's it plays as a buyer. It plays as an ad exchange and it plays uh, as an agent. So spinning off one of those businesses could be an option, um, uh, you, you know, to mess uh, to, to, to kind of make it less powerful in the back end where ads ads are traded. Um, but there are other rem remedies, too, that don't involve a breakup, because a sure. breakup will always weaken Google on the world. And, and the two big ones are data transferability, so allow right. users 
to control where the data is or allow users to, 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 to choose their search engine. 